Okay, uh, we got Mr. Daniel here. He's just basically qualified in hijama cupping therapy. Uh, could you just tell a bit about the course and how how was it? And would you recommend it to other students as well who wants to learn hijama? Yeah, sure. Yeah, it was a really good course. Um, really informative. Um, I learned a lot about hijama, the history of hijama, the actual treatment of hijama, the benefits of it. Um, and it was a really good course. Um, I definitely learned a lot, and I also got a treatment of hijama as well afterwards. And um, I have some quite some bad knots on my upper back, and it seemed to sort of loosen that up. And um, yeah, hopefully I can get some more treatments and see the long term benefits from it. And sure. I definitely recommend um, you to do this course to learn hijama and to actually get the treatment as well. You definitely feel the benefits from it. And do you think hijama is becoming quite popular um, in, in the West? Yeah, no, I think um, Chinese cupping and obviously hijama cupping, two different forms of cupping, but they seem to be getting, yeah, they seem to be very popular in Western culture now. A lot of um, athletes are using it and, and reaping the rewards. There's definitely some benefits to cupping, to Chinese cupping, to hijama cupping. Um, so, yeah, I definitely recommend it. All right, so we have Mr. Daniel. He's just done the hijama course. Uh, so tell us, Daniel, how quickly is it that you can get clients for hijama after doing the course? And, um, you know, is it, is it like a second income or a first income? And, you know, would you would you do this on a full-time basis? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it depends, really, how you, um, you market yourself. I mean, social media is very important. So use as many platforms as you can. Um, and again, put your your you know some advertising up on different websites, uh, and that's always good. And again, you know, word of mouth is always really good. So talk to your friends, talk to your family, get them to spread the word. Um, and it's a, it's definitely a good uh, f a form of treatment to learn as a second income, as you know, to add it to your other um qualifications as well. If you're doing that, you know, massage therapy, you can add that in with the treatment as well. Um, and does D2D therapies provide massage courses as well as hijama courses? Yeah, yeah so, they do all kinds of forms of treatment um, and hijama is just, uh, just one part of, of many of their treatments that they offer. And so you would recommend that people take more than one course so they could maximize their... 100%, yeah. it's always um, never just limit yourself to one or two um, things, always try your best to you know, get as many qualifications as you can in different fields and that way you can add it all into one and provide a, a better treatment for people. Uh, does D2D provide mobile mobile therapy or is it just based in one place? Um, they, do, they, they do provide mobile um, therapy, but it's, it's normally in one place as well. Um, so you could go there or, the, or they could come to you. It all depends on the on, on, where, on where you're based, where you live. And are they covering the whole of London or just one Yeah, part? they cover the whole of London, so um, which is which is obviously good because there's, there's many people to reach out to in London. It's a big place. All right, thank you very much for your time thank and you. all the best with your uh, career in hijama cupping. Appreciate it.